You pole vaulted? Hard to believe, isn't it? Unbelievable. Hi, my name is Andy. We're in the Humber Center for Teaching and Learning, and this is? Mike Planch, Program Coordinator for the Business Administration Program at the North Campus. Whoa, that's a mouthful. We are talking about Lecturer to Learning Coach. Right. Tell me about it. Well, basically, it was my journey of how I changed from primarily lecturing in class to really focusing on what's important to the student, and by doing so, becoming a coach. Oh, neat. Um, let's look at this coach and what this coach does. But before we do that, let's take pole vaulting as an example. Oh, I'm focusing on the pole vaulting. Day. Well, it is okay. my dream. So let's say that we're do right. taking a pole vaulting class with you, right. not business class, pole vaulting. Pole vaulting. Okay. I'm a student. Right. What do you do as a coach? Well, let, let's talk. You ever pole vaulted before? Yes, I have. Okay. How high did you jump? About four feet. Okay. What would you like to be able to jump? Eight feet. Eight feet. Okay. So we got a four foot gap, right? Right there. Identify the gap. Four exactly. feet. Exactly. So really quickly, I've gone through the first three steps. So you're going to suggest ways of closing the gap? That's right. So, but, but what I need you to do before I can do that is I need you to watch you pole vault. By doing that, I don't have to talk about what you already know. I can see what you already know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's one of the big differences in coaching. I look first and then talk later. Okay. Let's look at the path to this eight right. feet. So as a coach, I need to make sure I understand the mechanics really well. And so you may not need to understand that it's a combination of, of pole work and approach and running and all mm -hmm. of that scientific stuff. What you want to do is we want to jump eight feet. Right? Yep. So I need to understand all of that and, and help you break it down. So in the class, what I'm going to do is say, okay, let's start with where you are and we're going to look at what you need to do to improve. Okay. So I need to build my teaching techniques and objectives on that. You're at four feet. What do we need to do? So in class, right, we're going to get you to do that. We're going to get you to practice. You're going to practice pole vaulting. Each time we do that, we're going to go and say, what did you think? How was that? Of course, we have expectations when we're going for eight feet. That's right. And so the expectations are, what do you need to do? Basically, what's good practice, right? You need to have good running approach and everything. So what do you need to work on this week? So maybe in our, in our class this week, you jumped four foot six. So we'll talk about what you need to work on. And so I'm going to do that by observing and only talking to you about techniques that you need to work on that are going to help you get your goal. And so this is pre-work practice, all for the specific objective. Exactly. And for next week's class. That's right. So I'll tell you for next week, you need to, be, you need to work on these things okay. and practice these. And then next week when we come in, we're going to get you to show me how you, what you, what you do, how you've improved. And we're going to inspect those expectations after that week exactly. where I've been practicing. Exactly. And so the pretest could take anything from the form of a quiz in a pole vaulting, right? Maybe we have a question about technique. Pretest right here. Exactly. So maybe we have a question about technique. And so what I'm going to do is ask you that question. Or I might just say, okay, Andy, show me what you can do. Okay. Right? And Demonstrate. I do it. And you do it. And, and then we say, and I only go to four foot six. Right. So we say, okay, how did that feel? Let's talk about that. That's the reflective piece here? That's a reflective piece. Okay. okay. Now let's say you did five feet. Okay. Right? That's a pretest. Now we're going to say we're, our formative goal is to getting you to try to reach uh, six feet or five foot six, let's say. Okay. Okay. So now let's say, okay, that was a really good technique and here's what you need to improve. So we're now going to try to improve that. So you jump again. That's a formative practice. Okay. Okay. And each time you do that formative practice, we're going to reflect. What do yeah. you need to do differently? I need to run faster. Exactly. So each time we do it, we're going to look at these things and ultimately working towards a summative evaluation at the end. Can you jump five foot six by the end of this class? And at the end of the class, if I jump five foot six? We're great. We're on the road. We look at what we're going to do for next class. I'm on my way. Exactly. Thanks to the coach. No problem. And if you can't, we refocus those goals. Oh, excellent. Re-advise them for next week. Yeah, because I may not be able to jump eight feet. Exactly. I hope I can. I think you can. Anyway, Mike... That was great. From lecture to learning coach, very mm -hmm. important, um, and also a natural evolution for a good teacher, I think. It is, I think, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of, I think really good teachers focus on their students well. Great, interesting stuff. Um, Andy, Mike, Mike Blanche, uh, Humber Center for Teaching and Learning, thanks for watching. Bye.